Well, good morning, YouTube. All right, today we're gonna try a will it start. So behind me here, I have this old international dump truck. It's got a large dump body on it. And this has been parked up here at the yard for a long, long time. I don't know the exact length of time, but it's one of those things that Joe asked me if I could get it running because he wants to go ahead and sell it. He doesn't need it. There's no reason for it just sitting here. And it probably has a fairly decent monetary value. Uh, now I'm looking at the license plate on it and the last time it was registered was 2007. So potentially 14 years without running. I don't know that it's actually been here that long, but uh, we're gonna go through, we're gonna check the oil, we're gonna check the coolant, we're gonna see what we can do to get it fired up. Now, I did come up here and try to start it once um, a while back and the batteries were just dead as a door now. So I took those batteries home and I put them on charge and they refused to take a charge. They were just so old, so bad that they were not gonna work. Um, I did come back up with the dually one time and I think that was in one of the other videos and I tried just using jumper cables from the dually to get it to start up and there was a no-go on that either. So what I've done today is I went and pulled two of the batteries out of Goliath, because Goliath is just parked right over there on the other side of the yard, and I brought them over here. So we're gonna install batteries that I know are good from Goliath and see when we get this thing to fire up. So stick around, let's check hey it guys, out. So I popped the hood open and everything in here looks, you know, dirty, been sitting a while. Air filter looks reasonably clean. There's no bird's nest or anything in it. So we're gonna check the oil and the coolant. Doesn't look like there's much in there. Looks like there's plenty of transmission fluid in it. Not that I know we're gonna drive it, but if I'm here checking, might as well check everything. Looks like there's power steering fluid. Looks a little low, but there's some in there at least. For test purposes, it'll be fine. And it looks like there's enough oil in it for it to fire. And it's a little bit low. We might ought to put a little bit of oil in this first. All right, as you can see, this has a hydraulic system. I just checked it, it is full. Yeah, 100% hydraulic brake system. I don't see any air system whatsoever on it. And I believe this engine, you see it's a mechanical injection. Now I believe this is a DT-466 engine, but I'm not gonna swear to that. I haven't found an actual uh, plate on it yet. And I don't know a lot about these engines and I don't know much about the mechanical fuel injection system that's on it. But uh, you know, there's a lot of things I didn't know how to do until I first did them. So we're gonna get into it, figure it all out. So I think we're, we're all safe to run as long as it will run. So we're gonna get to get these batteries installed and then try to fire it up. All right guys, there we go. Batteries are in. Let's give this, so let's give this girl a go. We got power. See, it's an automatic, so there's no stick to worry about. Let's give this thing a shot. And no, no go. And we lost all power. All right, guys, so some of the, the cables on the truck itself had some pretty bad corrosion on them. At the time, when I hooked them up, I didn't have any emery cloth or sandpaper with me to clean them up with, so I decided, well, maybe I'll get lucky. I didn't. So I've cleaned them up. We're gonna try it one more time. All right, we got power again. Let's see if she goes. Holy crap, did you guys just hear that? Did you just hear that? And I have no idea how long this truck has been sitting here. I was not expecting it to fire up that fast. Relatively uneventful. And it sounds like it's running really good. All right, before I let it run too long, let's see what we can get in here, check the pressures. All right, we got 60 PSI oil pressure. Uh, it does not look like we have any charging voltage, assuming that the gauge is working. I don't have a meter here with me to double check it. It's at, out of the house, but it runs, so I'm happy with that. Guys, okay, 
guys. I don't know if you noticed that, but as I was giving it a little bit of throttle, the truck tried to move in reverse. Apparently, it is not in neutral. Well, that's a little strange. I decided I want to shut it off because, uh, um, you know, I don't know how much coolant is actually in it. I don't want to take a chance in overheating the engine, but uh, it won't shut off. So I'm going to have to disconnect the batteries to shut it down. Disconnected the battery and it's still running. Mechanical fuel injection doesn't need power for it to run. So uh, I got to shut fuel off or shut air off, one of the two. So uh, I get to a fuel line right here. So I'm going to see if I can't pinch the fuel line real quick and get it to shut down. Finally got it shut down, but it took a little while. Um, pinched the fuel line, didn't help. I would have thought naturally it would have. So I decided to choke it out. So with the hood open, I got a clear access to the opening of the air box. So I took my shirt off and I shoved it in there and it was still drawing air. Uh, I got looking around, there's uh, some cracks and stuff in the air box uh, that are gonna need attention obviously, but it was allowing air to still pass in through. So I had to disconnect the inlet from the turbo to the air box. And I took my shirt, wrapped it up in a garbage bag and shoved it in the hole and finally got it to choke out and shut down. So the truck ran for a good 15 or 20 minutes, no signs of overheating or anything. I do not know how much coolant is actually in it. I can't see it in the bottle. I had no intention of letting it run that long, but I don't think we had any issues with it at all. I do see a small fuel leak over here at the mechanical pump, but uh, all in all, the truck runs really, really good. It doesn't seem to want to move forward or backwards. I'm assuming a brake is locked up. I thought maybe the emergency brake was on, but when I went to go actuate the emergency brake, uh, nothing's connected to it, so the lever just flops. And when I thought it was in park, it was actually in reverse when I started it, so uh, that's a safety thing we got to work out. And I went through all the different gears, and when it's in drive, it's actually in neutral. And then, so when you put it up to park, you're actually in reverse, so that just doesn't line up right, and you cannot actually get it into park. But I've at least got it in neutral now so that if I do rub the throttle, it isn't trying to lurch forward, even though it isn't going far. It's just kind of, uh, you, you can tell it wants to go somewhere, but it can't. I think a, a brake is still being held somewhere. Plus, you know, this one tire is completely flat right here. The others, who knows? I haven't checked all the tires yet because I haven't planned on driving it yet. But I'm really glad that we got to start. That was my very first Will It Start video, and it went almost too easy. I really expected a lot more trouble to get this thing to fire up. But once I get those battery terminals cleaned off, the second I touched that key, it fired up, which is pretty amazing. Well guys, after all that, I went back and looked at the truck some, and I did find a lever inside the truck on the dash, kind of like an old tractor, that uh, when you want to shut the truck off, you pull the lever out. It almost looks like an old choke lever, and it shuts the truck down almost instantly. So at least we know going into the future, I'll be able to shut it down without having to disconnect. Uh, the air box and shove something into the intake to choke it out. That's always a good thing. So um, I think that's going to end it for this video. There's a lot more work to do on this truck before we can put it on the street. But this video was really all about will it start? So as you can see, this one tire here off of the bead. So I do have a, a bead cedar tool back so at I'll the go house and get that and try to get some air in the tire. Um, Gonna have to see if the brakes, like if the emergency brake is just on somewhere, even though there's no cable hooked up to the emergency brake, so I don't know that that's the problem, but find out why it won't go forward or reverse. It tries to, you can feel it torquing over. It wants to go. It's being held by something. So uh, gonna figure all that stuff out and see if we can't get it driving around the parking lot sometime soon. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I know it's a relatively short video, but uh, my first will it start. I think that's pretty, pretty interesting. Now, there should be plenty more Will It Starts coming around because Joe has a lot of equipment sitting around here that we're going to need to move in the next couple of months. So uh, there should be more of these coming in the future, hopefully. 
All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. Thank you once again. Appreciate all the support and everything like that. And until the next time I see you, keep those engines running.